All right, now it's time to create our timeline. So considering this image, our timeline is not very different from this, except it doesn't have this cover image part. So we can remove that and then replace this part with this section right here. And then we'll be home and dry. So let me go back to our text editor. Now this one is profile.php. So let me save this as, let me go and say save as, and then I'm going to save this as timeline.php. Save. All right then. So now we need to delete the cover part. So let's go down here and look at our comments. There's the cover area right there. That's the one we are looking for. This is below the cover area. So what we need to delete is this area right here, including the buttons. So let me select all that and delete. So if I come back here, now I need to load the other one because this is still the profile.php page. So let me go to my uh, folder and grab timeline.php, timeline.php, and then drop it here. Ah, there we go. So we've deleted the cover image part. Now we need to delete the friends in here as well. So let me go down here and this is the friends area, right? So let me grab this ID. I'll leave all this friends bar. We can rename it later, but I will just grab where the actual text friends starts from and then delete up to the end there. So I can leave this white bar there. So let me refresh and there we go. Pretty good. Now, all we need to do is get our, uh, what's this? The profile image from our other file. So let me grab the, uh, the profile.php and drop it in here because I need us to copy something from here. What we, have de what we had deleted. So if I come back to the cover area right here where there is the profile image this is the profile peak selfie actually forget this we don't need to copy from here because this might cause some confusion for learning so let me go back to the timeline.php and go inside the friends bar here and let's just type it again let me create an image tag so let me zoom in a little bit so you see better and then in here i'm going to say we had named it uh, selfie that's the file name selfie.jpg and then let's add a bit of styles here actually instead of adding styles let's give this one an id now this id is profile pick if i'm not mistaken because we had already created uh, the styles for that so if i refresh now we're going to have it there now the reason it's up there is because originally in the profile pick uh, section in the styles here, we have this margin top of minus 300. So you have to delete this one, go back here and refresh. And there we go. That looks much, much better. Let's see what else we can remove from here. Uh, border. I think everything else is just fine. So all we could do is add a name. Let me go down here where the actual image is now below that image. Let me add a break tag and then let me add the name. Sorry, like so. And then I'm going to the same friends bar. Since it, this is the only text in here, that text, I can style this whole thing to get the desired text that I want. So let me go back in here and first of all, uh, that's the friends bar we are looking for, friends bar right there. So let me tell it that to align the text, text align in the center. And then the font size, I want the font size to, to be like 20 pixels. And then I want the color, what color are we using? Oh, we already have a, a thing for color here. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about CSS is that if let's say I have, I've put two of these, I have a color here and I have a color here. 
what it would do is it's going to get this one and ignore this one so you can put as many as you want but it's just going to get the very last one okay so now what i want is to have that same color this one right here that we've been using the color of the top bar where is that and then just put it here okay so as you can see there's color here and there's color here but it's only going to get this one and not this one so when they are duplicate content just delete the other one so let me refresh and there we go all right so that's it uh, with the timeline uh, section now if you want you could make this background color disappear so let's try and do that maybe that looks actually better so let me just delete the background white here so that it's transparent and there we go so there is our timeline looking good all right so from now on since we have several pages now uh, we have our profile page we have our timeline page we have our login and sign up page so far so we are ready to start coding and making our website functional so i'll see you in the later videos where we actually begin learning some php and how to make our website dynamic so I'll see you in the next video.